Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we are going to find the area of composite shapes. Now, composite simply means made up of various parts or elements. So essentially, we have two shapes and we're pushing them together. We're gluing two shapes together. So let's go composite some shapes. I totally used composite wrong as a verb. <laughs> welcome to Purely Persistent. I'm Michelle. If you're a returning user, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. And if you're brand new, click subscribe because I have so many more math videos and grammar and social studies, that sort of thing. But I do also have these slides that I'm using available for you to download with the answers. So click the link down below. And I also have extra problems because the best way to learn something is to practice it over and over, right? Okay, let's get started on compositing some shapes. <laughs> so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a composite shape is really just two shapes that are combined together. So what you want to do first is you want to dissect your shape, your misshaped shape. And if you can divide it into two different shapes and find the area of those two different shapes, it will make your life so much easier. And I also like to kind of think about, well, what is this? So I look at this shape and I think of, it is a pan of brownies and somebody ate some. So if you're like me, you kind of like to even it out, right? So we're gonna even it out. Okay, so we're going to even it out right here. So now our plate of brownies is full like that. Okay, so I essentially have two different shapes. I have this long rectangle, and then I also have this shorter rectangle. So if you remember, the way to figure out a shape, or at least a rectangle, is basically length times width, okay? So length times width. Okay, so let's take a look at this blue guy right here. So my length here is 10. So I'm going to go 10 times my width, and my width here is five. So I have 10 times five. And what is 10 times five? 50, right? Okay, and now I have my smaller rectangle. My length is three. And my width is simply four. So three times four is 12. And then I have just, I add them together. And 50 plus 12 is 62 inches squared. And so that is going to be my answer. Now the way that I just showed you is one way to do it. However, you don't have to slice your brownies that way. You can slice your brownies the other way as well. So I'm gonna show you the same problem and we're going to try it just a different way. So again, I want to make sure that I do length times width. So this time I'm going to cut it right here and I have this little area right here and then I have this area right here. Red and green must be Christmas colors, right? Okay, so length times width. And you wanna really make sure that you're looking at the correct numbers. So if you look here at this 10 inch well, if I use that, oh my goodness, that goes like all the way down, right? That's not what I want. So here, I'm going to use my five inch and my six inch. So I have here, the length is five times the width. I actually am doing it backwards, but it's fine. So five times six is simply 30, right? And now we have our red, and so I have eight times four. And so again, this three, in this case, it doesn't really matter. So you wanna make sure that you're looking at the correct numbers because a lot of times 
There might be extra numbers that you don't need. Sometimes you even actually have to subtract numbers, so just be mindful of that. So eight times four is 32, right? And so if I go 30 plus 32 is 62 inches squared. And that's what I got before, right? So my answer works the same way, no matter which way I do it. Let's practice another one. Okay, so you can see here that this one actually doesn't provide me with quite as many numbers, so I might have to actually do just a little bit of math. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate it. Okay, and I am going to just separate it right here. So I have this piece right here, and then I have this piece right here. Okay, so notice here I have my length times my width, length times width. Okay, so here I have seven inches, so that's, I, I, sometimes it's also called like length times height. So let's actually call it length times height this time. Length times height, okay. So I have my seven, so that's actually the height, right? But look here at my 10. So the 10 is actually not it, right? But I don't have it right here. This is really what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go 10 minus this six right here, which is four. So if I put four right here, I know this is an arrow. I know that six plus four equals 10. So that's my answer. So I simply have seven times four, which is 28. And now let's do the green one. Looks like I don't have to do any extra math on the green. So I have my length, which is six, times my height, which is 15. And I simply get 90. Add the two together, 28 plus 90, so we have the eight, bring it down, 118 inches squared. So again, you're really going to want to make sure that you click the link down below so that you can gather my slides with the answers and then also do a little bit of extra practice because it will just help you so much. So now I'm finding the area of either a house or a rocket ship, right? Use your imagination. So we're going to just start with the rectangle that's at the bottom because we know that that is the length times width. That's how you find the area of a rectangle. Okay, so the rectangle here, I have my 10 inches and my eight inches, or I guess, um, like I said before, times height, length, times height. So I have the length is 10 times the height, which is eight, and that gives me 80. Okay, now to find the area of a triangle, it's actually one step more, okay? So we're going to make the triangle blue. And so what I'm going to have to do to find the area of the triangle, let me bring that back to white, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, so it's slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I need to bring down that one half. And my base is right here, but notice that's that 10, right? So I'm gonna put that 10 again. So we have one half base, so one half times 10 times my height, and my height is that six inches. So, one half, what is one half of 10? Uh, that's simply five, right? And then bring down my six, and I have five times six, which is 30. Add the two together, 80 plus 30 is going to be 110 inches squared. Another practice with our house or our rocket ship. So I'm going to start off with my rectangle at the bottom. So we have area 
of the rectangle equals length times height. <laughs> so I have simply five times four, which equals 20. And now I have my, my little top part. So to find my triangle, it is going to be one half base times height. So I have one half base. My base is right here, which is the five times four. Now, to me, if I'm doing this just mental math, I can do one half times five, but that brings me down to like two and a half. I don't really want to deal with two and a half. And so honestly, when you're multiplying, it doesn't matter which, which one goes first if it's all multiplication. So I'm actually going to do the five times four first, which is 20. And then I'll bring down my one half and what is half of 20? Just 10, right? So then it's going to just be a little bit easier if I'm doing that mental math. So 20 plus 10 is simply 30 inches squared. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video and doing a little bit of math practice with me. Uh, make sure that you believe in yourself. You can do this. Math just takes a little bit of practice sometimes, but you have totally got this and I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself too. Peace friends.